Here I am at Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Mauna Loa is the world's largest volcano. It covers more than 50% of the entire island of Hawaii. Excuse me for a second, I think it just got a message. Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing volcanoes. Hmm, what is a volcano? A volcano is a vent where gases and molten rock called magma rise from deep in the crust to Earth's surface and collect in a chamber. Volcanoes often form along oceanic ridges. Now let's go visit the Ring of Fire. What in the world is the Ring of Fire? The Ring of Fire is a major area within the Pacific Ocean that contains many volcanoes with volcanic eruptions and even earthquakes. Why does Earth have volcanoes? Earth's volcanoes occur because its crust is broken into 17 major tectonic plates that float along Earth's mantle. Floating on Earth's mantle, they push into each other, they stretch from each other, and they bump and crash and even cause earthquakes. Do you ever feel the need to cool off? Well, so does the Earth. Volcanoes are just a natural way that the Earth has of cooling off and releasing internal heat and pressure. The Earth possesses so much heat and pressure within it that it actually causes the tectonic plates to move. The Earth has three major layers, the core, mantle, and crust. The core is the Earth's most innermost structure. It's made of solid iron and nickel. The mantle is the thick layer of Earth's structure just below the crust. And the crust is the thin, rocky outer layer of Earth that makes up the continents and the ocean floor. The vocabulary words lava and magma can be quite confusing. So let's settle that right here, right now. What is the difference between lava and magma? Lava is magma that has erupted onto Earth's surface. When the heat deep inside Earth melts rock, a hot liquid called magma forms. What are the parts of a volcano? Well, first, we're looking at the magma chamber. Now we're looking at the lava tubes. The vents release pressure within a volcano. Lava's released. Whoa, heads up! There's a lava bomb. And here is the eruption where magma becomes lava. There's three major types of volcanoes on Earth. Shield, cinder, and composite. Shield volcanoes are broad, gently sloping, and built from fluid lava. Cinder cone volcanoes are small, and they contain consolidated igneous rocks that were once ejected from a volcano. Composite volcanoes were formed from a combination of lava flow and ejected volcanic fragments. Volcanic regions may contain lava, which is escaped magma, gas that could be water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and many others, pulverized rock, rocks that are crushed by heat pressure and movement, glass, fine-grained volcanic rock, which is also known as obsidian. Volcanoes are definitely worthy of a participation award. Why? Because they contribute to the rock cycle. Volcanoes contribute to the giant rock factory that is Earth. Through the melting, cooling, heating, pressurizing, breaking down, and cementation of rocks, three different types of rocks are created and destroyed over and over again in a rock cycle. Those rocks are sedimentary rock, igneous rock, and metamorphic rock. So let's summarize what we've learned. Just like you and I, sometimes we need to cool off. Well, so does the Earth. With different types of volcanoes, such as shield volcanoes, composite volcanoes, and cinder cone volcanoes, the Earth contributes to the Earth's rock cycle, changing, molding, breaking, destroying rocks, but also creating new ones. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.